Hey, welcome to this podcast, Life, Mood, and Reality. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about positivity. Positivity. Be so positive. <laughs> yeah. Be so positive. And I get to talk about how you can turn negative emotions into positive energy. Energy is all around us. And it can either be positive or negative. There are two types of energy. Uh, these two types of energy, which is a positive and negative, are almost the same. Right? We can vibe to the negative, we can vibe to the positive. You know, most of the time, I've seen people say, okay, I, I have a negative vibe right now. I have a positive vibe right now. I have a negative vibe. I have a positive vibe. But energy is all around us. And it can either be a positive vibe or a negative vibe. And these two types of energies, if you're not careful, are almost the same. The only difference is the direction which each is focused that's the only difference. The direction which each is focused. So emotion is a form energy. And it is also of the two forms. It is simply unavoidable. Simply unavoidable. We all have to deal with negative emotions at one point or the other. It could result from one of the many things around us. Getting hurt by people, getting irritated by people, being ignored. by someone in love being cheated by someone and the way we handle this is what defines us the way we handle each of this energy is what defines us and how we eventually turn out to be Some of us have encapsulated ourselves with negative emotions. So much that they have become our personality. It's who I am. No, it's not who you are. <laughs> you see that? It's not who you are. I'm a wicked person. No, you're not. You have encapsulated yourself 
with negative emotions. Oh, this is who I am. No. So you are. I, I just can't be with people. I'm not a people person. Because I, you have encapsulated yourself with negative emotions. And this is why such people find so little happiness, if any, from life. You've probably heard about a popular science law that implies energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Right? Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be transformed into a different form. If you're wondering, that's physics. I just say physics. So this also applies to our emotions. Now that's life. <laughs> okay? This also applies to our emotions. And the only option you have to learn to transform any negative emotions into positive energy. I hope you follow me on this. So, we've come to see from IGCC physics that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. but can be transformed into a different form. So when we apply it to our emotions, the only option that you and I have is to learn to transform any negative emotions into positive energy. Otherwise, it's going to eat you up inside. Peak, it can wreck us. Not just wreck us, but when it gets to its peak, it can wreck us physically and mentally. Hence, it's very important to turn our negative emotions into positive energy. It's very important to turn our negative emotions into positive energy. Of course, it is impossible to control every situation that comes in life. Very impossible. When they do, when those impossible situations come, however, you will be able to approach them with a positive mindset. Instead of thinking in the negative direction. Don't get stuck in the dilemma of impossible decisions because of fear or guilt. 
don't get stuck. Write this down. Don't get stuck in the dilemma of impossible decision because of fear and guilt. What I've outlined for you would help you to find solutions to empower your mind in the bid to radiate positivity rather than finding fault in everything or complaining each time you have a negative thought. People, people have that sense of nagging all the time. Oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, oh, my, oh, my days, oh, my days, in it? But with what I've shared, it empowers your mind in the bit of, in the bit to radiate positivity. So in the midst of crisis, you find a way out. Fighting with negative emotions will only make it worse. Please understand this. Fighting with negative emotions will only make it worse. Instead, try to redirect the emotions in a positive direction. I've come to the point where the only thing I say is silence. Let them talk. Mm. Let them talk. It's their mouth. It's their energy. As long as they don't throw a hand on me. <laughs> right? It's their mouth. Whatever you say to me is meaningless. You know why? Because it can only be meaningful if I act upon it. Please walk with me. It can only be meaningful if I act on it. Oh, I'm stupid, huh? Oh, I'm foolish, huh? Oh, I, I'm, I'm crazy. And I act on it. Then it's meaningful. It, words can carry power when we give in to it. Alright? So, the only way it becomes meaningless is if we don't give it to it. If we remain silent. So we do what Jesus did. He was silent. Because it's meaningless. What you say does not change the outcome of what I would do. So, being able to choose to see the positive side of things is a very important attribute to possess. If somebody annoys you, see the positive side. Well, the positive side could be, you annoy me too much, I keep my distance. I keep my distance. I try to have a communication about, about it with you. You seem to be on the defensive. I keep my distance. Friendship is not by choice. It's not by force. It's by choice. It's not an entitlement. It's a choice. So I can decide to be with ever who I want to be with. So choose your energy wisely. That's what I'm saying. Surround yourself with energy that don't bring you into negativity. Even if it seems impossible to accomplish a goal, label it as positive. Believing, expecting, something out of it is the best. Even if it seems impossible to accomplish a goal. Labeling it as a positive, believing, expecting something out of it is the best. The, the universal law of expectation is that what we expect tends to happen more often. <laughs> Look at that. The universal law of expectation is that what we expect tends to happen more often in our lives for some unexplainable reasons. 
and, and most of you are wondering, okay, I expect to be this at this point in my life. And you put a target for it. You set a goal for it. I, I talked about a podcast about set a goal for what it will make of you. Okay, I talk about the effective study plan for those who are, who are, who are students. You probably want to check that podcast out. So when we expect something, it tends to happen. I have goals. I expect something to happen. I don't have the means right now. I don't have what it takes right now, but I expect it to happen in the deadline that I've set for myself. And once I've set that deadline, I know for a fact I will get it before then. Keeping a high vibration by labeling things as positive would make it possible for you. So when we keep a high vibration by labeling things as positive, would, would make it as posi- positive possible for you to turn your negative emotions into positive energy. Then you start broadcasting a new frequency, a positive one into the world. Now, this takes time. But the moment you learn how to encapsulate this frequency, this positive vibe, in the midst of chaos, you start broadcasting that this new frequency, a positive one into your world. Negative emotions result from negative thoughts. We can all agree with that. And positive energy is fueled by positive thought. So if you're having a negative emotion, there's every trace that is from a negative thought. And if you're having any positive energy, it's fueled by what? Positive thought. As such, it is not enough to just choose to be positive. Hmm? So it's not enough to just choose to be positive. You need to eliminate, see that, you need to eliminate the negative emotions in you. And replace them with positive thoughts. What some people fail to realize is that they are in full control of what you feed your brain with. But I'm powerless. Yes. But you're in full control. Nobody gets that laptop for you unless you do. Nobody goes into the kitchen unless you do. See that? Nobody gets to bed unless you do. Nobody tells you to grab a book unless you do. Even if you grab it, you're not reading. So you are in full control of what you feed your brain. So what, the, the question is, what are you feeding your brain with? Is a QA. What are you feeding your brain with? What eventually translates to your emotional system? What are you feeding your brain with? <laughs> because what you feed your brain with will eventually translate to your emotional system. So what translates 
is a function of what you feed with. Make sense? So what you translate becomes a function of what you feed your brain with. The feeling of appreciation is very soothing. It's very soothing. When someone appreciates something about you, it makes you feel good, right? I like the way you smell. I like the way you dress. I, I like the way you... I, I like the way you, you look good. I, I, I like the way you speak. You, you feel good. You can replicate that feeling, keep it real, by focusing on the source of appreciation. Let me round up. Let me, let me round up. Always attempt to focus the intensity of your feeling on what you value and appreciate rather than things that mess with your head. I, I'm, I'm just going to echo this again. Always attempt to focus the intensity of your feelings on what you value and appreciate rather than on things that mess with your head. If going to watch football or going to parties or having a good time is what intensifies your feeling of value and appreciation, then focus on it. For me, I love reading. I, I love having meaningful conversations with meaningful people. <laughs> In this podcast, I'm going to talk about some things. How you know people who are meaningful and people who are meaningless. We have them. And it's traceable by the way they reply to conversations. Is it is a tester. I give you a tester. You fail it. You get blocked. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so always attempt to focus the intensity of your feelings, okay, on what you value and appreciate rather than on things that mess with your head. Eradicate negative attributes like hatred, anger, dishon- dishonesty, victimization, hostility, bitterness, and the likes, and replace them with love, humor, honesty sense of responsibility, forgiveness, self-reflection, and warmness. So long as you keep thinking about things that you don't like, you won't be able to turn your negative emotions into positive energy. If you, can't, if you keep thinking about, oh, this thing makes me angry, this thing, if you keep thinking about it, guess what? You're, you're, you're filling your mind with negative emotions because of negative thoughts. And the positivity in it is fueled by positive thought. So cherish the things you like and you will be happy. Cherish the things you hate and you'll be angry. I'm gonna say that again. Cherish the things you like and you'll be happy. Cherish the things you hate and you'll be angry. If you apply this to every aspect of your life, of your marriage, parenting, work, etc. Relationships, you are very likely, so likely, more likely, in every likeliness to be successful at them. Gracefully let go of negative people, please. Gracefully, you know, do you like that? Just be like Ariana Grande. Thank you. Next, Mm -hmm. all right, and just gracefully let go of negative people. The negative energy they radiate is contagious. Please get this, it's contagious, and it will only drain the positive energy in you. I'm careful with my circle. Anything that brings off a negative vibe 
quickly delete from heart, mind, phone, physicality. It is best to learn how to feed yourself with positive energy. It's best to learn how to feed yourself with positive energy. So much, it supersedes any negativity around you. It would even be a signal to others, telling them not to attempt interacting with you in a negative manner. Positivity would, would lead you to the people that are right for you. So it's, it's not like you're letting go of people because you want to let go of them. You're letting go of people because you want the right one to come in. People who would help you grow as students. People who will help you achieve academic excellence. The worst kind of thing you would do for yourself, let's talk about students, is when you entangle yourself with people who don't add to your life. Let me, let me eat with that. Who don't add to your academic life. And for the, for the friendship, you keep sinking. They keep dragging you into the world with them. So, it is best to let go of negative people gracefully. And I can assure you, with these positive people that you've, that you've, that are, that, that are coming into your life, that are right for you, with these people, you would lead a less stressful life. A less stressful life. Translating to more happiness for you. You'll be contented with your life rather than complaining every second of the day. Be the kind of person that everybody wants to come to. Not, not the kind of person everybody wants to run from. Some people seem to forget that we evolve from the care of Mother Nature. It is filled with beautiful things that naturally have positive effects on us. Spending time in nature can help you drive negative emotions out of your life. The view of trees, beautiful gardens, natural pools, or warm springs, ice caves, and the rest, every one of these would help you reduce stress and improve your mood and cognitive performance. Growing flowers and plants can make your environment bright, colorful, and consequently enhance positive energy. You can grow this in your environment to improve the ambience and to add to the ecstasy of your space. The quality of being appreciative If you can learn to be grateful for everything that comes your way, big or small, you would develop an attitude of seeing the positive side of life. A negative will have no chance. So be grateful for everything that comes your way, big or small. The problem is we want the big things that we neglect the small things. See, when I make small improvement, I'm always grateful. I'm so grateful. Even if it's one, just little, I'm grateful. Because it would accumulate to the big things. Release the negative emotions in you and bask in the positivity. Every single day, make a habit out of never going to bed angry. I want this to be your mantra. Make it your mantra. 
and say to yourself, I would make it a habit of never going to bed angry. Focus on the positive. Free your mind from negativity. So focus on the positive, free your mind from negativity, and wake up to a peaceful day. The truth of the matter is that irrespective of how much you try to phase out negative emotions, life would always find a way to bring up difficulties. So I, I, don't, want this, I don't want you to feel that this is a one-off or you're done with negative and, um, emotions, they are not going to come. This is the truth. Irrespective of how much you try to face them out, it will always find a way to bring up difficulties. As a result of this, it is best to create a means of letting out negative emotions by burning them out of you. Some people choose to engage in exercise to accomplish this. That's one way to do that too. Whenever you're faced with difficulties, carry out some exercise. Of course, this is this is good technique. Okay? You can exercise. The exercise will boost the endorphins in your system. Okay? Making, making you happier. The point is to find whatever works for you and involve yourself in it. So, exercise is great. Whenever you feel with any negativity, just take exercise. Shut on your phone. Go take an exercise. Come back, sleep on the bed. Don't, 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 don't. Just rest. Okay? The above are... This, what I've said, is very effective ways that I believe can transform negative emotions into positive energy. So try to implement them. And you will surely get more out of life.